Hello, so Lib with Word Game Guide here, and in this video, I'm going to have a look at the 10mm miniature range from Pendraken. So, this isn't the full range by any stretch, but it is going to be enough um, to have a look at the sort of the detail and quality of them. This is the range that I'm going to be using with um, mm. my solo role playing game, Decline, which there's a link to up here somewhere. So uh, if you're all interested in solo role playing content or just 10 mil miniatures, um, do subscribe because there's going to be more of this. So what I wanted to do is just have a look at some of the different range. I bought basically a bit of a random assortment. Um, I think I'm probably going to go for some extra ones and try out a range from Copplestone Castings as well. But uh, these are the Pendraken ones and just to give you an idea of the size, let's zoom in on this guy. This is a 10 millimeter archer, so skeleton archer no less. There we go, focusing is quite difficult. So the detail is really quite impressive. There's a little sprue here, which obviously will cut off and I'm gonna be doing a painting video of this. And I'll again link to that up here somewhere in the top corner. Um, so there's a little bit of preparation to do. Quite a lot of the miniatures have these sprue marks underneath, which is to be expected. So you'll need to sort of file that off. And there's a little bit of trimming here. And if you just, I mean, that's my little fingernail. I've not exactly got big hands. These things are tiny, 10 millimeter scale. Looking at his face, it's um, again, really impressive. Quite how they managed to sculpt and recreate these with such detail. It's really very impressive. So that's one of the skeleton arches. Um, and generally you'll get a couple of variations. Uh, so this is a guy, similar kind of sculpt. He's holding it a little bit higher. I mean, look at that, they've even got the face detail on there. And he's got a little shield on the back. Again, there's these little artifacts sort of all over the place, but a little bit of filing up. And it's only white metal, so it's very, very soft. Uh, they can soon be cleaned up. So that's the skeleton arches. This is a crossbowman, similar kind of uh, vibe really. Another skeleton and shield on the back. They also do a range of uh, skeleton warriors. So that's these guys. Um, picked up a couple of hill giants as well. Uh, quite why, I'm not sure, because I haven't actually got one planned in the game yet, but I thought I'd see the difference in scale. So that Bearing in mind is a sort of human size, that's a giant, and this is sort of a dwarf scale. We'll come back to those two um, shortly. So let's have a look at the, uh, the giants. Again, I've got three variations of these guys of different scales. Um, we've got a chap with a uh, big bone club, an enormous boulder, Barbarian type looking dude, and a little fella here. Well, relatively little fella with a big wooden club. So three variations of the uh, the hill giants, and generally you'll get maybe a pack of, I'd say six or so larger characters, and just scores maybe twenty for about five pounds. I'll splice in some uh, links to the actual website here. So really good value for money compared to a standard 28 mil scale. These are sort of an intermediary. So these are ogres, um, a few variations or trolls, I suppose it could be. That's a dwarf for scale. So they're a little bit bigger. Again, bigger than a human size character. Um, and there's loads of variation. Six millimeters are popular scale too, but the miniatures are absolutely tiny and I've sort of ruled that out for the purposes of the uh, the game that I'm designing. So let's move on. We've seen ogres. Let's move on to some of these little hill dwarf guys. Now this is the chap that I've been, um, if I can lay these out a bit better, the guy that I've been using as sort of the, uh, the hero, uh, the player character in the testing of my game. Good old bucket head here. Fantastic detailing, even down to the little strap on the back of the shield here. Um, I'm going to give these a go at painting. Again, I'll link to a video of that. I'll release them at the same time. But um, exciting times. And it was these kind of, this scale of miniatures that made me think, 
what a cool idea it would be to have an entire role-playing dungeon crawler that would fit basically on a tabletop and it could store away in your pocket. So if you're not familiar already, Decline Solo Role-Playing Game, which I'm designing at the moment, there's a mailing list down in the description. Let's do sign up and I'll be doing a giveaway of some of these uh, miniatures as well because I've got absolutely hundreds and I only need a few for a skirmish game. So uh, sign up to the newsletter and uh, follow the instructions in the newsletter if you're interested. I'll send you some of these and uh, thanks for watching. I'll put up on the the screen now if you're interested. Let's move up here. Here's too many bones. We don't just do uh, miniatures content. Here's a board game. And if you haven't seen already, this is all on my custom hidden board gaming table, which is actually my kitchen table, which I've made. And it folds down, there we go, to be a concealed gaming table. So if you like the look at that, do subscribe. Loads of uh, content appearing at the moment. And um, yeah, look out for more videos on the 10mm range of miniatures.